Chapter 958, The Promised Port. Guest Ace is dead. Lol. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Podcast. I'm the best guy ever, and this is Give and Take. Right, mate. It's me, Give and Take. Welcome. Good to have you. Uh, how's it going? Uh, it's good. All right. We got <laughs> Chapter 958, The Promised Port on Deck. And uh, let's quickly look at our cover page. We've got the continuing adventures of the Capone Gang Beige family. As uh, that guy from the last one. uh, Oh, oh, that was two chapters ago because it was a color page last time. Uh, He's saying uh, Lola was in Dressrosa just a few days ago. I mistook you for her, Chiffon. Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's pointing, I assume, just at Dressrosa like she was here. Uh, Yeah. So... She, uh, Lola is around. She she could be very mm-hmm. close. She's either she's. I mean, so I I assume this means she left Dress Rosa and is oh, somewhere yeah. else now. But um, so the the adventure will continue most yeah, likely. So. so we probably won't spend too much time looking around in Dress Rosa, which as we've been saying is probably good because no one of interest is there right now. <laughs> what other uh, what other islands are around the area um, that she could let, be? Let's at? think. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if they would necessarily go there. The ones that we know of are, so right before they went to Dressrosa, uh, Luffy and the gang was at Punk Hazard. They could theoretically be at Punk Hazard. Not exactly a nice place Wasn't to visit. Wasn't there, like, um, multiple yeah. places they could have gone from Punk Hazard that were mentioned? Yeah, that, that's when, um, uh, Nami got her, um, her triple log pose, and it did point in three different directions. So, yeah, they, they could be on, like, a new island. They could be on Punk Hazard, theoretically. I think that's real, and then like they went to Zoe after uh, Dress Rosa. Yeah, so we haven't actually seen a ton of islands in this area, like ourselves with the straw hats. So it would be... I bet they'll be somewhere new. Personally, yeah. um, mm-hmm. did Lola ha- Lola have a mink on her crew? No, Lola. she didn't. No, no, just humans. I think. I think we it was. I was thinking of her like being a warthog zombie at the beginning. Or yeah, something. With, yeah, with the risky brothers, like the squirrel guys that were her crewmates. Right. Well, uh, we'll, so we'll, we'll see. Find yeah, out. we'll see. By the way, before we get into the actual chapter, I just wanted to say uh, a comment on uh, last week's discussion of the chapter. So I, I went on a big screed about uh, that chapter because people were saying, uh, you know, it was their favorite chapter ever. I, I do want to, I was thinking about that. I kind of want to take it back a little bit. I do think I went a little bit too hard against people who are enjoying One Piece for yeah. different reasons than me. You so I, I, I do... Uh, do I want to actually apologize? Mm, no. But I do want to say that I understand where people are coming from. I don't want to from. apologize, but I want to run back the clock and say, like, I didn't say that. It wasn't actually what I said. Uh, that's correct. Redacted. That's correct. So, uh, you know, I, I want to still, it, just to a lesser degree, I still want to shame people who are reading One Piece, not because of anything I've done, but because they're doing it for different reasons than uh, seemingly the, the stated purpose of One Piece. But then again, I don't know what I mean, One Piece's that, stated that purpose is. that statement is exactly the same as the previous one. It's just you're not shouting. Or like, um, I mean, you, your, your I, I was barely shouting. I get your point. I get your point. Um, it's just, it's so clear to me. I mean, has One Piece changed? Because everything about One Piece was about adventure, new worlds, exploring well, things, right. inherited will. The, the, Are we now just fact, politics show? The fact of the matter is that, like, mm-hmm. One Piece is overwhelmingly liked in the world. There's so many yeah. people that love it. It's ve- it's just unlikely that mm-hmm. the majority of people get into it for exactly the same reason and read it in the exact same way. So the, like, I mean, that's definitely true. I'm, I'm and sure. Inevitable. I'm sure. Like on on some level, they agree with your assertion that like Skype is a really great moment, but like, um, I don't think there's. I don't think like, it's. I I think it's just like expected, that like people will mm-hmm. be into something massively popular that won't agree on why they like it, or why it's good. Mm-hmm. Like, I saw a comment who was saying, like, Skypea mm-hmm. was the worst arc because it had no bearing on the story or the plot. Obviously, Indeed. Uh, Indeed. You mis- hear that misguided, sometimes. misguided, like, thought because, like, a lot of things that happen in Skypea do impact the plot that comes next, like the gold it, they used indeed. to buy, the, the woods that turned into the Sunny Go and all that. But And it, even aside from that, Gold Roger, the writing, it yeah, was a literal yeah. poneglyph yeah. in the bell, so, yeah. yeah but know. it's like, it wasn't the same as Alabaster. They didn't get a bounty raised from it. Nobody knew that they went there except for mm-hmm. the people that mattered. Um, right. 
Um, but like, it's I I don't think it's like you don't need to agree with them for having that mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. But like, it's just you gotta understand that that's just sometimes what people like to get mad at them is like mm -hmm. fighting the sea. You know, you're absolutely right. And so I'll, I'll frame it like this. So I, I don't blame anyone, and I'm not mad at anyone who doesn't agree with me and, like, the, the, the things I like about One Piece, the reasons why I like it. But what, what, I, what I will do, um, I will assess someone's, like, justifications for why they like something, and I will, like, I will gauge that as if I think that makes sense just on its own face. Nothing to do with me. But, like, I will perceive, if someone says, I like One Piece because I like watching bounties go up, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. But in the grand context of all of One Piece, I'm going to just, we all do this. I, I won't be able to stop myself from saying, like, hmm, you're missing out on a lot of things there, dude. J and just, ba just based on that, on my assessment of what makes One Piece great, uh, as you know, versus also... someone else's, I'm going to internally judge it because I'm a judgy person yeah <laughs> we all I, are. I think also though there's um there's a mm -hmm. level at which like people can't articulate themselves perfectly and so sure. they sure. may um you know they may love uh, lots of things about one piece that we love and mm -hmm. then um the way they sort of articulate that love of like th this arc was so good is like the way the bounties come at the end it's sort of like something they can latch onto, saying oh, i love and then they sort of associate mm -hmm. a good mm -hmm. bounty uh, reveal with like a yeah, really good yeah. cool moment and they just make some hype because it reminds them of great arcs where they had a cool time reading it and then the bounty mm -hmm. went up and it was a cool thing and it's just sort of they they associate that with like cool stuff and I, th I think that's fine because like not everybody is an anal uh, is an analyst not everybody is going out reviewing they just mm -hmm. talk about the things they like and they're not not necessarily able to talk about them in the way that you know like it mm -hmm. accurately expresses their real thoughts. I think there's just one kind of stratification thing that occurs naturally. Uh, basically, whenever anyone gets into any subject, uh, like, you've got a layman's view of something, but then anyone who becomes an expert to any degree, I'm not even saying I'm necessarily a big expert or anything, but when you spend a lot of time thinking or working on something, like, you will naturally kind of become distanced, I think, from like the people who have done less investigation and understanding and in in your opinion appreciation like if, if i had a phd in one piece or whatever like that might make my experience different versus someone who does not have that which in effect is what's going on here it is my contention so i think there's kind of a i don't even mean it's like a smart dumb thing but there's like a an intellectual stratification that goes on in like pretty much any subject it's, it's whether it be autism. media or I think. Called autism, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even mean, I, again, I don't mean intellectual, like, one person's smart, one person's dumb. I kind of mean just, like, in terms of a degree of study or, like, amount of time spent or something. Uh, and that's inevitably going to lead to differences. Just yeah. study up, bro. Study up, bro. Study up, bro. I, I mean, on, on anyone who thinks I was an asshole and a jerk, I would, like, I, I absolutely presented it as in an obnoxious way. That's totally true. But, like, if we got into a debate, I could present my points, I think, far more you know, reasonably, and, um, and I mean, I definitely think I'm correct on the substance, but, uh, I, whatever, point being, yeah. differences arise naturally, and I, I, I don't, I don't really, this is the main thing, I don't want to be somebody who's just, like, f finds someone's appreciation of a work, like, uh, in, invalid, it's all, it's all valid, it's all valid, I just find some more insightful than others, that's, I guess that's where I'm coming from, okay, yeah. anyway, that out of let's the way. Get let's get to, to the actual chapter. Let's get to the chapter, and we begin mm -hmm. um, in with a, f a gold Roger flashback on the on the yes, indeed <laughs> on on his ship that I forget the name of it with the big. It's egg. the Oro Jackson, of course, Gib. Oro Jackson, as in gold. Gold being Oro in Spanish. If you don't know that, lads. And also, um, I'm just just again. This is like the best shot we've ever seen of the ship. From the side here, we can see the Roger flag up there. And that big fucking egg is, again, just, like, clear as day on the ship. What is that fucking egg? Is that one piece? I don't know. <laughs> it could be well, anything. if you smash it, it'll become many pieces. Oh, shit. Well, by that logic, it definitely is one piece. Uh, just, I I'm very suspicious of that egg. Keep your eyes peeled for what that means in the future, lads. But anyway... Here we got Roger talking to the crew. Yeah, incredible. He's, he's uh, well, o Odin is at the uh, the helm. 
or the mm-hmm. whatever at the ship, the front of the ship. And he's just sort of like saying, oh, Roger, thanks for letting me on your crew. And Roger's being a drunk, uh, funny, funny man. And uh, there's a, uh, what's his name? Crocus. Crocus. That's Crocus, the doctor from, uh, that's uh, Laboon's buddy. Laboon's yes. buddy. Who's that guy on the left? Is he like nobody? I uh, That guy, I don't think he's had, he might have had one line once. We have seen before, I believe his name is Scopper Gaban. I believe that's his name, but he's never like done anything other than kind of just be in the Roger Pirates. So we'll, maybe we'll see him around sometime. Yeah, so Rayleigh's here. Uh, everyone's just happy to see Odin. Buggy and, and, you know, and Shanks <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah, they're so cute. They're always together. They're, they're, they're buddies. So uh, presumably they're offering, like Rayleigh says, want me to lend a hand, Odin. It seems like they're talking about like the revolution in, uh, in Wano seems to be the topic of discussion taking it back or or i think they're specifically saying because this is before um odin took over sorry um well before odin or uh orochi took over i think they're just saying want us to help you secure your position as shogun in wano there uh uh, odin and he's like nah bruh i don't need that shit i can do that takes a big drink of his sake bowl by the way just uh i don't think okay you know what i was gonna say this might be the most we've ever seen like the roger crew all interacting in any flashback. But I think chapter zero, when we saw uh, Roger and his crew fight against uh, uh, Golden Lion, Kinshiki, I think we saw all these guys pretty much like hanging out together. And that thing's like, that chapter's definitely canon, but it, it is movie related, so I don't know, maybe it's not as legit. But r- regardless, it's really cool to see all these crew guys hanging out. And fucking Crocus is like fighting Roger man to man because they're both drunk. Incredible. Hilarious. And, uh, and also for my for my Japanese friends, I, I really like this joke of, um, oh, of yes. Odin here. Yeah, saying to, to uh, Rayleigh and then a Red Taro and Buggy Jiro. Um, so Red Taro is clearly Shanks and Buggy Jiro is clearly, I mean, Buggy. But the, this joke of uh, Shanks being Taro, meaning first son, and Buggy being Jiro, meaning second son. Oh, it's like it's they're brothers like... and he's the little brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's so cute. Buggy's mad at him for it. Oh, Why these guys are the two? best. Always number two, that Buggy. Oh, poor bastard. He's going to be the pirate prince. Mm. I hope so. And oh, he's even like, like really says, I'll help you, you know, become Shogun. And Buggy's like, yeah, I'll help too. Buggy was such a sweetheart. He was such a fucking sweetheart. Uh, he was probably thinking about like, ooh, if I help him, like, I'll be able to get like tons of money if I know like the Shogun of Wano. I think, I think it might but do, still. It might be that he just loves Japan, period, and he wants to help. Oh my god, my blood brother! <laughs> Me and Buggy! Two Japanese boys to the core! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Well, so, uh, uh, in any case, yeah. Odin, Odin <laughs> is saying, I'm gonna open the borders. Mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. his, that's his goal. 20-year-old dream, so it's been closed for 20 years, I suppose. Or maybe somebody wanted it to be open since 20 years ago. Yeah, he's maybe. carrying maybe. That, that thought through. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, as, we, as we know, it didn't work out, didn't pan out for him. Because uh, nope. we're in the present day, it's still closed, 25 years later. Although, you know, I kind of forget. So this is, this is Odin, like, before he became Shogun. We know he did later. So, like, when he became Shogun, were they opened, like, temporarily until he got overthrown by Orochi? Like, you know, I, a bit I, after that as well? You know, I have Actually, no idea. Actually, you know what? Uh, so, so real quick, we, th- so this, this whole scene is set, it, it says at the beginning, I think, like, a few years, not long before the start of the Great Pirate Era. So, this, so we know that um, uh, Odin was overthrown 20 years ago from the current time. And we know that the Great Pirate Era started something, I think it was, I want to say it was like, because there was a two-year time skip. I think it was 25 years before now, as in 23 before the actual, like, start of One Piece with Luffy, you know, going and doing stuff. I, I think that's about right. So by this time period, like, this would be a couple years before, uh, maybe like a year or two or whatever, before Odin, or sorry, Gold Roger becomes Gold, Gold Roger, uh, becomes King of the Pirates. And then there'd be just a span of, like, a few years in there before, um, like, Odin would have been overthrown by Orochi, and then we have this 20-year time skip to now. So we're talking about a, a, a reign of, at most, a couple of years before he gets assassinated and overthrown. Maybe it was, like, an extremely brief period of time, too. So I'm not, um, yeah. I'm not totally I sure. I mean, I feel like 
Mm -hmm. He must have had some notoriety before he got, like, destroyed. Because... Um, well, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, he was definitely Shogun before he was, take, before he was killed by Orochi. And we know that he... Um, well, it's probably he, not, like, were, one week. It, it probably is more close to It was to probably a handful of years or something, is, is my, I think, is a reasonable guess. But, like, after this point, he had to go back and, like, prove himself, however that would be. So I think that, I think he's got like a five year window here, give or take. I could check the facts, but it, it's it's around there. So you know, just that's that's the window we're dealing with. So it's not like this guy was like Shogun for like fifty years or like ten years or anything. This is like uh, my guess is like maybe he was Shogun for like three years or something. But I don't know. We'll we'll find out. So like in that time, maybe he was like trying to or was just about to open the ports. I think that the opening of the ports is going to be the equivalent of the ringing of the bell moment at like the end of this arc or whatever it's going to be a thing where like momonosuke does that and that's going to be the thing that's like ah, i'm fulfilling my father's legacy you know yeah. it's i'm doing the thing he wanted Definitely. to do but yeah okay uh, well anyway yep, that's that it was, that was brief <laughs> and then we're back in wano wano mm -hmm. act three begins we got a flute guy this time i know i don't think Wait, I that guy's before. new that guy's new and Maybe. that's a uh, playing the shamisen yeah Pretty cool so how and by I? by the way, I just I'm just noting. So we're not, we're now back in Act Three, as you said. So we have not learned like who died after uh, like Reverie or whatever. Nope. Uh, like what happened to Sabo exactly? Presumably captured, but I mean we don't know. So like those I think will be mysteries that are answered in the next break after yes. Act Three, or my guess. So we'll see. We'll Perhaps see. I mean, mm. well I don't know. Well it's just we'll see. Not much news gets into Wano, so I doubt it'll uh, be yeah. revealed to us here. <laughs> Okay, so we're in, uh, what was it called? Port, Port Habu. Habu. Yeah. And uh, Orochi and the, the many, many people, mm -hmm. the, all the ninjas and, well, most of the ninjas, uh, 40,000 troops, all on their big Indeed. fucking boats, uh, going to, to have a big old party on, on and, and notably, uh, that's going to be dope, and notably, so it's the fire Festival, so that's all cool, but notably, Kyoshiro says he is not going. He's the one staying behind in the capital. So the, our theories of, like, a Kyoshiro versus Zoro fight, I mean, that could still happen, but if he's not there during the Onigashima raid, maybe he'll show up later. Maybe there will be some shenanigans where he reveals his I true mean, colors, there, but I mean, knows? the thing that's happening right now in mm -hmm. Onigashima... As we as we see later, the the mm. the assault doesn't work out. Uh, at least it seems not yeah. to be working out. Um, the climax probably won't even take place on there. Hmm. I think that's definitely I think this possible. was like a big build up to uh, a big failure, and then they can't do it. I, I, maybe, maybe, maybe well, things we'll, will we'll get delayed. We'll talk about it closer to when we get to those panels. But for the yeah, moment, yeah. this is just sort of like showing us what the port looks like. It's big. Mm -hmm. There's maple leaves everywhere. It's the, like an autumn area, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you know what I was going to say? Sorry, speaking of, of Japanese things. So this is a, it's a, it's got these beautiful red leaves, um, uh, you know, around. And uh, I just wanted to say that, uh, did, did I ever mention that? When I was growing up, my house had three Japanese maples, these exact trees planted in their yards. Because when we were born, my dad planted a Japanese maple for myself and each of my two siblings, so all three of us. I don't know why, Whoa. of all trees, my dad chose a Japanese maple. Perhaps because he knew that <laughs> his children were true Japanese Nihonjin individuals who appreciated the superior Eastern culture. Um, and, uh, and also, what was I going to say? Oh, and my grandfather, he fought, he was, he was Polish, and I believe he fought in like the... Um, I forget. I think it was, it was like the there was a war between Russia and Japan a while back, and I think Poland was was involved in that because they were close allies or something. And my sorry, my great grandfather, he actually won like the medal of the the Order of the Rising Sun because he was like a medic and he was so kind and and helpful and helped save Japanese soldiers he was fighting against that Japan gave him a medal. So my 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 family's love of Japan period <laughs> goes back generations. And so I think we all uh this is why it's true guys. I'm 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 true Japanese on the inside. I have the heart of a samurai. But uh so th these are my credentials. In any case, cool that these trees are here. I actually grew up with some. They're very beautiful. They're very nice. But they also look like weed leaves, which is Oof. also pretty sick. Uh, so there cool. you go. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, so not not much is being shown. They're just getting on the boat and then they're going. Mm -hmm, and then, mm -hmm. meanwhile, at the flower capital, the people are getting ready for the fire festival. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's allowed to drink an alcohol. 
Apparently they can only drink today, which is interesting, but okay, cool, cool. Yeah, everybody's getting dolled up and ready to go and mm -hmm. having, a, having a grand old time. Nothing wrong here. Beautiful weather. Everything looks great. And, and you know, th this is interesting. It ties into a couple of the, the theories that have been thrown around. Uh, some of, They don't seem particularly credible. But, like, we know that in, in One Piece lore, uh, early on there were these seasonal islands. We seem to have a little bit gotten away from that, which, okay, that's fine. Maybe there's more complexity in later ecosystems of the Grand Line. Um, but it says here that the seasons vary vastly in Wano, depending on the region, and the weather is no exception. So, I mean, we've clearly seen that. There's no, like, explanation given yet as to exactly why that is. Maybe this multi-island combined theory thing will still be true. Probably not. Seems like there's very little evidence. But it is different from, from the older islands that we learned about. Um, it I don't is. know. It is interesting mm -hmm. though to that they note this like oh uh, they know, do yeah the, the fire festival the fire festival and the the bigger the the habu whatever um, yeah the port the other port that that those have got great weather there's nothing wrong mm -hmm. going over there and those are you know the places where you would want good weather mm -hmm. and in the place the one place where they do not want good, uh, bad weather indeed um, the 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 uh, port Tokage port Tokage the those red scabbards are there and. And there's a big storm. And what I think mm. could be in, 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 uh, gleaned from this mm -hmm. is that the weather is somehow like controllable, and and Orochi had something to do with the storm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm thinking. I mean, I'm thinking it might be uh. something to do with the mountain, and maybe something to do with uh, technology from the world government or CP Zero or something. Here's just a, here's one point. Uh, you know how people have said for a long time that they think that Dragon may have saved Luffy with that lightning in uh, in Rogue Town when he was almost executed by Buggy. You know, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. Um, the, like so, one of the ancient things about dragons in general is that the, a lot of people think that Dragon has like a weather devil fruit. Who, who knows? Or that he had a dragon devil fruit. Now we know that uh, Kaido has that. But dragons in in like Japanese lore and stuff, they control the weather. So it uh, is yes. interesting to know that this weather issue is coming up. We know there's a literal dragon guy here. So, I mean, perhaps that's connected to this. Just a theory, a game that, theory. That would be more, but, uh, like, yeah. I was thinking it's like mm -hmm. Orochi's ties to the world government or, or Could something. Could be that, too. Has, we, like, we just uh, don't know. some Vegapunk science that, like, makes the seasons whatever he wants. Um, you, you but, know, like, a dragon yeah. being here and that tying mm -hmm. into it also is quite credible. One other kind of supporting evidence for that is that, um, uh, so Momonosuke ate the, uh, that, that like, uh, devil fruit, the, the smile or whatever, that yeah. was, like, the prototype one that turns him into a dragon. That's his devil fruit thing. And, um, like, he can't fly exactly, like, just by himself, but he can fly because he, he makes clouds. Like, that's, like, a power he has when he's a dragon. He produces oh, yeah. clouds and, and, like, climbs on them. So that's, like, a weather-related thing. So yeah, I'm maybe just saying. The reason, maybe yeah. the reason Kaido can fly at mm -hmm. all because, you know, they don't have wings, those dragons. That's why yeah, they, right. they, they float through the wind because they make the wind float them you know they that would make sense i mean we we you know who, who can say just now but we know he can fly we've seen momonosuke who we all th we a lot of us theorize his devil fruit is derived from kaido's in some way we don't know that for sure but it is like the same thing so uh we know that that one flies through clouds so it definitely could be that there, there's there's some decent evidence that there's weather manipulation going on Possibly by Kaido or something. So, and yeah. and we have tons of reasons to suspect that like these issues are happening like deliberately. This has been like caused intentionally. So, yep. you know, maybe that'll turn out to be the case. Yeah, because uh, Orochi got mm -hmm. tipped off that this was the location and this mm -hmm. is where the storm mm -hmm. is. So, the 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 seven red scabbards with the others are here. Uh, By the way, I'm I'm wondering here. if this is a reference to the seven samurai because there are in fact seven samurai here with our ninja and our little prince boy. Just saying, could be cool. Could be no, cool. Oh, and by the way, much did, true. Yes, I'm fucking so. loving uh, Okiku's like big actual samurai demon armor. Looks dope as shit. Uh, pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just saying. Yes, very cool. Um, mm -hmm. But you know what's not cool. Yeah. All of the ships are gone, and all of the people are gone, and all of the soldiers are gone, and there's, fuck, this all fucked up. Yes, and and I wouldn't have known this unless it was stated by um, Ashura, but uh, the port appears to have been attacked, possibly. And, I mean, it, I was thinking maybe the weather just did this, but they're saying, looks like something deliberate was done here. Well, the like, thing is, 
yeah, it looks yeah. like it was attacked because there's no one here. If it, if the ships just crashed, there would be people, you know, waiting to tell them that the mm. ships had been destroyed and they couldn't, you know, they couldn't repair them in time. That's if true. There's not a single gone, person on the beach a, or there's, anywhere. There's not a soul who's called in to talk about it. It's just they're all vanished. I'm like, how how'd they do that? How is everyone gone? That's an excellent... We, we had... Uh, what was the number? We had like 6,000? They had 4,000 4, soldiers from the prison, or may, maybe in general, in, in total. Yeah. Um, mm. None of the Straw Hats are there. None of the yeah. Yeah. the notable characters we know are mm-hmm. there. It's, it's just... They're freaking out. There's no, there's no response on the, on the smail. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get a brief like cutaway to something in Onigashima where there's a bunch of guys carrying something. I can only assume that's like perhaps plot some relevant in some, some way. Prisoners of the thing, like they got yeah, I'm captured and too. thrown in that or something. Doesn't look like big enough for four thousand people, so I'm not sure what <laughs> happened to the to all of them. But there's something in there. You gotta be something. Gotta be something. Or, or maybe, maybe that's just a reference to be like, oh, there's terrible weather. Things are horrible here, and they're just saying they're carrying. A fun, like party thing. I just to show like an emotional dichotomy. I, I don't think I don't so, think but so. I don't no. know what this thing is. So it's I'm like, what, I'm oh, confused. they're carrying something. What is this thing? And it's yeah, yeah. I'm really curious. Like, if they do have people in there, who and how and why? I guess. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But that's, yeah, there's, that's... there's not a lot of like answered questions. This is a big like question moment, but there's nothing mm-hmm. to really talk about. It's just sort of like we're we're reading the chapter. Oof, it's it's sad. I mean, because at the beginning of the chapter, it uh, we we are shown, uh, you know, Roger talking to um, uh, Kozuki Odin, and he's just like, yeah, my uh, me and my retainers. I don't need like you, the Roger pirates. I appreciate that, but me and my boys, we are going to be the ones to take. You know, take over Wano and do all our stuff. And, yeah. like, these are the retainers being yeah. shown in this scene. Yeah, um, they are. I find it interesting to note that Odin's like, man, we don't need any pirates' help to do this. What have these guys been spending the last several arcs doing except acquiring outside pirate help I mean, to, yeah. you know? That, this situation's was, different. I get I that. Mean, they, but, they definitely uh, had to get over that initially. Yeah, that, that that's true. That's true. He's got a lot of pride here. But, but yeah, uh, they um, yeah. they they're all here except for that one who we still haven't seen, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and Nekomamashi who hasn't arrived with the white beard pirates or whatever he was doing. The fact that he's mentioned again, I mean, for me, uh, I look so obviously a lot of mysterious things. We don't know where everybody is right now. Kinemon is begging the allies to come. Nobody answers. Um, I think that like uh, I, the, the the fact that um, um, Marco is mentioned specifically with ne- Nekomamushi. Basically, tells me like a hundred percent they they will be here when uh, you know just for the for the oh, Chekhov's gun of mentioning them. I mean, it would it would be like it wouldn't be right for the the mm-hmm. the, the, the the nine red scabbards to not reunite mm-hmm. during Wano. I, exactly, there has to be a big moment. Uh, uh, hopefully, anyway. So, all right, what I could uh, what I'm did you see? I mean, I will we, mm-hmm. just say like Inurashi picks up a little boat that still works, and he's thinking, yep. Yep. us we should just go. There's no, we have no one left. This is the only way we can do it. We have to go and do the thing, just the the nine of us. I think that's exactly what's being implied here. They're like, we did everything we could. It all fell apart. But fuck it, like we're samurai. If we have to die during the cause, even though we definitely won't win, for some reason they do that. <laughs> even the, it, it's, I mean, spend another twenty years, get more allies. Uh, I don't They're know. They're gonna be I'd... too old. They're gonna be old men. That's true. Then breed, okay. breed, and have strong sons, and then come back. <laughs> This is my recommendation to fuck. Yeah, what I can Im- infer from the the mention of Nako- Nekomamushi is, mm-hmm. well, not in not infer, but like, I could imagine that he could mm-hmm. have arrived with a ship and then everyone got on the ship somehow and then mm. they decided to go then, or someone else gave them a ship, or some some. I I I'm trying to think of like where they could all be, like if they were all yeah. captured. I mean, well, we let's... haven't seen where they were put. If they were captured, there was just that one brief thing in the in the square. Maybe that's just like the yeah. people are going to be executed or something, and the rest of them are in a in a prison. So maybe they were ambushed. Let's just but like... include. Oh yeah, sorry. Go go on, go on. Maybe maybe it was the uh, the big guys. Well, the what are those? The numbers. Oh, the um the numbers. Yeah. Maybe they jumped in mm. and smashed them all and stole them all. Definitely it just... possible. 
they've been introduced be, into the um, arc now. Yeah, yeah, it would just be interesting to know how like all of the strong people there got stopped. Because presumably yeah, every Straw Hat was there. Th it could be a misdirect. I mean, so the Straw Hats... I, so it, it, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the plan was... So Frankie was going to prepare all the ships and have them be here so that they could be boarded. Um, like all the other guys on land were going to just be here to board Frankie's ships that he was building so they could ride to Onigashima. The Straw yeah. Hats... We're not going to do that. The Strats oh, just yeah. had their own ship, they were and we're go going to, to ship, yes, yeah. So, and okay. they were going to meet. They, it's not like they were meeting the day before. I don't think. I think they were meeting on this very day. I today. think they were going to meet. Yeah, either in the middle of the ocean or on on Agashima itself. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But so, anyway, uh, well, let, let's the, include the last two panels here now, which yeah. is just yeah, last night the, an incident occurred. O Orochi is big laughing. zoom on Orochi's face. Yeah, he's we got uh, we got suspicious. like demon chicks with him. They're, those are looking pretty cool. They look like Kaido girls, I think. They look like oh, Homestuck uh, fans. <laughs> uh, they, yeah, I guess they I do. Think, don't I th they? They're into Tavros, I think. I think right now he's enjoying. Uh, <laughs> they probably are into Tavros. Uh, fucking degenerates. They're probably they're in, uh, 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 that is Orochi is enjoying Kaido's hospitality. Some of his finest salute pirate crew members are entertaining oh, yes. Orochi yeah, yeah. with you know his feminine Beast girls. desires. And or, so I mean, yeah. it, it, just getting back into what could have happened, I like I don't think most of our boys like w like w okay. One plan is like Orochi killed everybody. Uh, okay, probably not, but uh, just one thought. There would be more destruction, I think, if that happened. And also, uh, like, I don't think the, the crews were gathering here last night. I think they were only gathering, like, during the day. So to say that last night an incident occurred, I don't, I think implies that n nothing, like, bad could have happened to the guys here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, um, it would be kind of a lame thing if it was like, oh, sorry, guys, we were late. Oh, God, what happened to all the ships? Like, it's just, it's, There's going to be more than that. Whatever this yeah. incident is, I, I mean, I hope will be interesting. Because we, we, we've, all these hints have been given. Orochi knew this is where they were meeting. We're shown, like, here, nobody has shown up at the meeting time. Orochi is implied to have had something to do with that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused as to exactly what's going on, which I'm sure is exactly what Oda is intending. Yeah. So... There's lots, I, of things, know, there's lots of things that could happen. I mean, we don't mm. know what Law's deal is. Drake right. is around. There's yep. all sorts of different players now. Apu's mm -hmm. returned with the numbers. and yep. there's, all, there's all sorts of stuff going on. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, we could speculate. I think we've pretty much done as much as we can. Uh, we just have to wait for, tragically, no One Piece next week. But after oh, that yeah. week, there will be uh, hopefully some answers. So I, I guess that's where we need to leave it. A very unsatisfying note, a very mysterious note, but that's that's the nature of the chapter. So uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess that's it. Pretty good chapter. Got a got a cool Roger flashback. A little more Odin yeah. info. More it to come, obviously. Felt a little felt a little short. I I think maybe uh, mm -hmm. Oda's like got a got a like a, one of those colds. He's got a sniffle, <laughs> and that's why he's one of those Japanese next colds. Week. Those one are of those deadly. Japanese colds. I mean, everyone's getting colds now, so I'm just assuming it's like, oh, mm. it's the time where everyone gets a cold. <laughs> it is getting colder outside. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, but I, I guess that's it. We will just check in in two weeks, folks, and we'll see what's up. Hopefully, we get some answers. So yeah, I guess that's it. We'll uh, we'll see you next time, folks. Uh, Patreon.com slash Pirates if you want to help support the show, which we would appreciate. Uh, $1 and join the crew. $5, $10, $20, whatever. We all appreciate any kind of contribution. And uh, But also, you can just join the Discord down below to the Pod D Discord and come talk with us about One Piece. Lots of conversation going on there all the time. I usually, I get notifications for like when a new chapter is out, generally from the Discord, when there's like a, yeah. an at to everybody, when someone's been like, it's out. And that's when I know, as I did last night. And, uh, and that's it. And that's it. Right. See you in two weeks. Another chapter. God, I want answers, Oda. But thank you for the chapter. Good work. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.